At 7 o'clock on the morning of September 8, 19 days after the Mona Lisa was stolen, the police ordered Picasso to appear before the magistrate as a lead suspect in the theft. Trembling with fear, Picasso had trouble dressing that day. While being questioned by the judge, both men contradicted themselves and each other. Apollinaire accused his friend of bringing the stolen statues to the newspaper. Picasso accused the other of knowing the whereabouts of the Mona Lisa. Distraught, confused and ashamed, both men broke down in the courtroom, weeping like children and begging for forgiveness. Finally, the magistrate deemed Apollinaire and Picasso had had nothing to do with the disappearance of the Mona Lisa.